Yo, what is up, everybody? It's Psy in the house. Happy New Year. Um, before I get into the review for today's product, I just wanted to uh, go over a little channel review since um, I've been posting for two years now. Time flies. Um, so uh, recently uh, there was some drama on YouTube and um, uh, some policies uh, with monetization got changed. I had just started monetizing my videos, so you were seeing some ads on a few of the the, the previous ones. But now uh, the policies changed and I no longer qualify, so I won't be making that insane YouTube money anymore. Uh, so far I've made like $2.60 or something, so I guess it just ends there until I meet the qualifications. Qualifications now are uh, you need to have 1,000 subscribers instead of 100. And instead of having 10,000 uh, minutes of overall watch time, you need 4,000 hours of watch time per month sustained in order to uh, have monetization. So that's great. Um, I just had my 28th birthday, so I'm 28 now. And uh, yeah, I'm really old. And it sounds like the water for the uh, tea that we're going to be trying today is uh, done boiling. Um, so uh, today I'm trying a seasonal sampler. Uh, it's got Gypsy Cold Care, um, Echinacea Plus, Throat Coat, and Breathe Easy. Uh, these are naturally caffeine-free herbal teas by traditional uh, medicinal seasonal teas. Um, as you might be able to tell, I'm sick right now, so uh, I figured uh, reviewing this would be pretty cool. I'm going to grab that water. I'll be right back. Yeah, I microwaved it. I'm not going to use a teapot for one cup of tea. All right, so let's 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 get to reading some of this, and uh, we'll see what's going on. Uh, that's what the front looks like. All right, so Breathe Easy uh, promotes respiratory health. Uh, the supplement facts are... Okay, let's just read the ingredients for this. Zero calories, interesting. Uh, organic licorice root, 300 milligrams. Organic eucaly eucalyptus leaf... 285 milligrams, organic fennel fruit, 255 milligrams, Bai Yan Plain, <laughs> that's a tongue twister, Bai Yan Pian Dry Aqueous Extract, 8 to 1 ratio of water to that thing, I guess, uh, 120 milligrams of that, proprietary blend, 540 milligrams, okay, so their proprietary blend, they're not telling us what's in there, so that's interesting. Uh, organic peppermint leaf, organic calendula flower, pleurisy root, organic ginger rhizome, or rhizome possibly. Anyway, uh, so that's all the ingredients in the Breathe Easy one. So let's see what they have to say about that. Uh, Bayan Pian is an extract made from xanthium fruit. Xanthium? I'm pretty sure that's one of the elements. Um... Ma Magnolia flower bud, Scylla root, Forsythia fruit, wild chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum flower. Oh my god, these words. Shisandra fruit, Platica, <laughs> uh, Platicadon root, fragrant angelica root. Anemarahena rhizome. This one looks like schizophrenia. Schizo nepeta herb and Chinese licorice root. Holy cannoli. All right, so that's what's in the Breathe Easy one. Oh, yeah, and uh, consult your healthcare practitioner prior if you have low potassium levels. Oh, man, so this has, like, some warnings. I guess you're not supposed to be taking random herbs. For maximum benefit, herbal tea must be properly prepared. Brewing instructions are recommended. Drink and relax. Oh, God. Anyway, let's read Gypsy Cold Care. Um, serving size is one cup. Brewed tea. Serving, okay, amount per serving. Zero calories. All right. All herbal ingredients. Organic European elderflower, 350 milligrams. Organic yarrow flower, 350 milligrams. Organic peppermint leaf, 350 milligrams. Organic hyssop herb. 140 milligrams. Proprietary blend, 560 milligrams. 
I wonder what's in there. Organic rosehip, organic cinnamon bark, organic ginger rhizome, safflower petal, organic clove flower bud, organic licorice root, dry aqueous extract. Okay, interesting. All right, and then uh, the uh, it, Echinacea Plus, uh, it says it promotes immune function, but uh, yeah, there's an asterisk next to it because... Uh, I mean, you can legally say that, even though you can't prove it, but anyway. Um, so in there, it's got, okay, zero calories again. Uh, ingredients, organic acacia, per, oh man, purpurea <laughs> herb, 1,065 milligrams. Organic acacia purpurea root dry extract. The ratio is two to eight to one. <laughs> I hope I don't die on camera because then I won't be able to post the video. Uh, 37.5 milligrams. Organic acacia, oh man, angustilifolia herb, 30 milligrams. Proprietary blend, 367.5 milligrams. That's really specific. Organic West Indian lemongrass leaf, organic spearmint leaf. All right, and then finally, the last one is throat coat support, supports throat health. All right, now I'm just stumbling over words that I know. Um, do, 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 zero calories. Organic licorice root, 760 milligrams. Organic slippery elm bark, 80 milligrams. Organic licorice root dry aqueous extract, ratio 6 to 1, 60 milligrams. Organic marshmallow root, 60 milligrams. Marshmallow is a plant? I guess that makes sense. Proprietary blend, 1,040 milligrams. Organic wild cherry bark. Ooh, it gives you the uh, the Latin name. Prunus serotina. Organic fennel fruit. Organic cinnamon bark. Organic sweet orange peel. All right, now that we're done with that cringe fest, let's open this up. Oh my God. I know how to open boxes. Which one should I try? I think I might just try the Gypsy Cold Care. All right, so you open the box. For 40 years, changing business for good. What makes us different? The quality of our herbs, our trained herbalists, and our values. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so let's check this out. God dang it. Wow, this smells like licorice. I've had teas with licorice root in them before, but um, the licorice root doesn't really taste like licorice. It just sweetens it. Um, but this actually smells like licorice. Did I forget that I read that they actually put the liquor? No, it's organic licorice root. I don't think that if you put just the root that it would smell like this. But there, uh, when you open the box, there's a... Uh, I don't know if you like black licorice. Uh, a lot of people do not, and some people don't mind it. Uh, some people actually like it, I think. But uh, if you don't like black licorice and you open this box, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> because I'm sick and I can smell it. Yeah, the, enti <laughs> the entire like box just smells like licorice. All right. Oh, my God. No way. To enjoy, pour eight ounces freshly boiled water over a tea bag. Cover, cup, and steep for 10 to 15 minutes. I wish I had known that before. Squeeze tea bag to ensure maximum goodness in your cup. Enjoy one to two cups initially, then one cup every three hours, especially good with honey, not to exceed six cups in a 24-hour period. All right. This is kind of making me scared, but let's just start it. Um, okay, the water's still really hot. Open up the tea bag. Let's take a look at it. Whoa, that smells crazy. I'm kind of scared. Uh, if you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. Vincent Van Gogh. Did he really say that? Or is it like those uh, Abraham Lincoln quotes where he's like, you can find anything on the internet? Abraham Lincoln definitely didn't say that, though, Ow. because uh, he there was no internet when he was alive. I'm not going to wait the full 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I'll probably reheat the water and then steep it more after the video, but, I mean, I'm not trying to edit this right now, especially now that I don't even get any revenue. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Um, but, yeah, I'm not waiting this full 10 minutes. I just want to try this thing. Uh, so how have you guys been? Have you missed me? 
Yeah? Wow. Well, uh, why don't you like subscribe to my channel and tell your friends to so that I can get to a thousand subscribers and then start making some money again. Thanks. Thanks. Great. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a train going by. I don't even know if you can hear me. For all I know, the microphone might be covered by my uh, foam that I'm using to uh, to show uh, myself on camera. What has my life become? I don't even know anymore. All right, let's see. It's still really hot, but I'm gonna take a sip. It smells spicy. Um, you can definitely smell some type of mint. I know I remember reading peppermint, but it smells almost spicy like, like black pepper almost, but I don't remember reading black pepper. Hmm. Uh, a little bit of licorice. Cinnamon, possibly? I don't know. All right, let's take a sip. Oh, yeah. Um, you know that nice, soothing feeling that chamomile tea gives you um, in your mouth when you sip on it? I don't know. But it feels like that. I feel like there might be some chamomile in this one. But it's very good. I mean, it's scary to have all these warnings and stuff, but I guess they have to if they're putting herbs in it that you're not normally eating or consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. Because um, when you think about it, people generally only eat, like, a handful of things. Uh, but when... Uh, or, well, at least in America, I mean. But... Uh, in other places, or if you get, like, crazy things like this with all these, like, herbal supplements, you start consuming stuff that you've never consumed before. Um, yeah, this one had the elderflower and the yarrow flower. Peppermint is in here, okay. Cinnamon bark, okay. All right, I was pretty close. Clove, that's what I was tasting. And then there's licorice root in here as well. Interesting, interesting. This is at the tail end of my uh, my cold. I've been sick for like four or five days now with like fever and like shivering, sweating in bed and everything. So, I mean, I, I won't be able to attest to whether or not this uh, helped me recover because I'm at the tail end. Um, but uh, still, it was... Uh, I've had this uh, in my uh, cupboard for a while and I just wanted to try for you guys. And I told uh, someone in my comment section that I was going to review some tea soon anyway, so... It worked out. Uh, you know what? It's not half bad. I am going to let this steep for longer, though. I just wanted to try it uh, initially. I'm sure that the flavor gets a lot more strong. And I think I might have used a little bit more than eight fluid ounces. But anyway, um, <clears throat> if you like licorice, um, like me, I mean, I, I don't really mind it. I wouldn't, like, pick it over, like, chocolate or something. But I, I don't hate it. Um, I would definitely rate something like this, uh, uh, well, should I rate the whole product or just this specific tea? Well, I didn't try the other ones. So I'm just going to rate the Gypsy tea. Um, and I'm going to have to rate it probably a 7 out of 10, um, because I don't know if it's going to help me get better or if it's going to kill me later on today. Um, hopefully after I start the posting process. Um, but it, it tastes good. It's annoying that it takes 10 to 15 minutes to steep. Uh, but I guess with the, uh, herbs that you're using, it, it might need more, uh, time to actually, uh, dissolve into the solution and, uh, have the full health benefits of whatever these herbs are doing. Um, but yeah, uh, leave me comments, guys, like... Let me know what's up. I want to hear from you. Yes, you. Whoever you are watching this video, put a comment in the comment section. And um, subscribe. Tell people about me. Like, I need help. I'm a small channel. <laughs> uh, I'm going to post more content. And if you have any suggestions, I'm so open to suggestions. This is kind of an amalgamation of a bunch of uh, different possible channels. 
I have posted about other crazy things in the past, but I mean, right now it's mainly just reviews of different things, but I'll do whatever is easy. So, I mean, like, let me know what you want me to try to do, and I'll try to do it for you guys, okay? Because I'm here for you and for me. But yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. See ya. Oh, wait, like the video, okay? Thanks.